Hey everyone, this is DW96 from GroovyPost.com and today I'm going to show you a great method of adjusting your images using Camera Raw in Adobe Bridge CS5. Start off by opening Adobe Bridge and then browse to the location of your images. So I've already gone ahead and done that and then to edit an image in Camera Raw, right click on the image and select Open in Camera Raw. So right here I'm gonna get a small warning that my screen resolution isn't really so perfect for image editing but I'm gonna go ahead and click yes to continue anyway now I am currently in the full screen mode so that's why everything fits uh, if you want to go into the full screen mode too you can press F on your keyboard and you would get the entire camera raw dialog full screen so now let's take a look at the camera raw interface at the top we have a couple of tools that are definitely going to be handy while you're editing everything. You got the zoom tool, pan tools, red eye reduction, cropping, and everything like that. And now on the right side, you have all of your different sliders and tabs with which you can adjust your image. And so now let's go ahead and start doing a couple of edits to this image. I'm going to start by cropping it. Simply drag the area that you want to keep and then double click to crop uh, and now you can start playing around with the sliders on the right so first of all I'm going to decrease the temperature a little bit give it a little bit of green tint too decrease the exposure increase the recovery slider bring out the blacks in the image increase brightness contrast clarity vibrance and decrease the saturation a little bit to avoid oversaturated colors so now that you're happy with your image in this section you may also want to do a couple of other adjustments so let's go to the next tab which is the tone curve from here you can adjust your highlights lights darks and shadows so if you want you can go ahead and do that I'll do a few changes to my image like so and as you see as I'm dra dragging the sliders around the curve which is displayed right over here is changing its shape to what resembles in the image now there's something that really annoys a lot of photographers and that's noise so I'm gonna zoom in this small segment right over here you can see we have a whole lot of noise so that's not so nice you go to the next tab which is the detail tab and you start dragging the sliders around from the noise reduction start off with luminance you can already see some of that noise going out you decrease the luminance detail to make the image have even less noise So now if you zoom out you can see absolutely no noise here so that's it with the luminance noise now let's find another segment of the image like right over here when you have a little bit of color noise so drag the color slider to the right you can also decrease color detail to knock out the noise even more and now both luminance noise and color noise are gonna be gone so that's about it with the basic editing there are also other tabs which you can check out HSL split toning lens correction effects and many others so I like my image this way when I press done I'm going to be thrown back into bridge with my image edited the way it is but still this is going to be visible only in Adobe Bridge so if you want to send this picture to a friend or just make it viewable and explore this isn't going to be the right way for you you're going to double click the image Photoshop's going to open it up you're going to get this error message for your resolution again press yes on it and then click open image at the bottom of the dialog now the image is going to go straight into Photoshop and from here you can do all sorts of editing that you might want to do to it but still I like my image just the way it is to save a copy press Control shift s on your keyboard and then select the location where you would want to save the photo so I'm gonna save it in the same place name it camera raw leaves camera raw save it as a JPEG so that all my friends even the ones who don't have Photoshop are gonna be able to open it and now all I need to do is press save I'm gonna press OK again for the highest quality and my image will be saved so thanks for watching this groovy tutorial there are lots more at groovypost.com and we're gonna see you next time